Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a fake tanning tips video. So I did bring one around the end of last year. Um, I think it could be in about September time I want to say. Um, but since then I have found a few other things that helped me so I thought I would share them with you all. So if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on to the video. <laughs> Okay, so the first tip that I would give you guys is to exfoliate obviously before fake tanning. It's an obvious, obvious, obvious thing. It's something everyone tells you. Ideally, you want to exfoliate 24 hours before fake tanning. But if you're like me and even though you fake tan every single week and you know exactly when you're going to do it, you exfoliate more like 24 minutes and before you fake tan, let alone 24 hours. What to do is blast your skin with cold water after you've exfoliated. This will help try and close your pores over. Obviously still try and let your skin settle for maybe 10 minutes after. Um, but blast your skin. And then also pat your skin dry that you're not causing any irritation, rashes, anything like that. Um, just blast it with cold water. And also use a mitt and a scrub. I like to use the Bondi Sands mitt. I'll try and pop it on screen. Um, it's black on one side and blue on the other side. And then a scrub, my favourite scrub is from Primark. Um, I think I spoke about it in a video last year at the end. I might not have. It's I think 350 and it's a little tub and it literally lasts about a month or two months. Honestly, it is the best. And it makes my skin feel like it's been polished and all that dead skin's came off. Um, as well as obviously using that mitt. So again for tip number two is to shave at least 24 hours before you tan. But again, if you do it like me just before um blast your skin with cold water pat your skin dry um to save any rashes or anything let your skin settle try and let your skin settle don't just jump out the bath with the shower and slap on some tan try and let your skin settle for about 10 minutes sometimes i try and sit up to about half an hour but obviously um it depends on the time it depends what your plans are it depends what you're doing um but just make sure you blast it with cold water i know it's such a shock to the system and it will wake you up a lot but blast your skin with cold water and it'll help try and close those pores so you don't end up block pores and strawberry legs is that's what people call it and um, where you've got the little dots on your legs after shaving and exfoliate and just try try do it 24 hours before but if you are like me do it all in one day then blast your skin with cold water i've never ever had a problem doing that touch wood it never happens um but just try and do that so tip number three is to obviously avoid moisturizing your skin but what i like to do is moisturizing the dry areas so things such as elbows knees hands feet sometimes like to do a little bit in there and um, because i feel like because that is a crack it sometimes does build up because you sit like that whereas like at least you can keep your arms straight you don't need to moisturize in there so after applying it i like to wipe it off with a towel i find that the skin has then sucked up a little bit the moisturizer i don't want it to soak up too much and i also don't want to um risk spreading so if the moisturizer is not completely soaked in i'm going to be applying the fake tan with my mitt and i'm potentially going to cause for moisturizer to go in other places and then they won't develop as much because they are like moisturized areas and um, that aren't dry so i just like to take a towel and just wipe it off i let it sit for a little minute or two um, and then i'll take a towel wipe it off wipe off the residue and that way it won't spread so the next tip is to find a fake tan for you i'm talking tones i'm talking shades i'm talking skin concerns if your skin is dry go for one with a little bit of oil in it such as bondi sands that's got coconut in it that really helps moisturize a lot of fake tans do help moisturize you do wake up and your skin does feel a lot softer are um but maybe try and look out for those things if you do have really dry skin or if you're really really fair you maybe got blonde hair um or you've got ginger hair and you maybe don't naturally tan as much go for maybe like a light medium fake tan if you've got darky hair like me you get away with a dark ultra dark you get away with them all that little bit of color your um dark hair and the little bit of color in your skin will help bounce together and will blend seamlessly just find a fake tan for you find the brand for you um find the shades the tones 
like they've all got different tones you've got ones with more red tones you've got one with more green tones you've got ones like bondi sands loads of folk don't go out with that because that's got an underlying olive tone um so you sometimes look like shrek um so a lot of people don't like apply that one in the morning and then go to work whereas things such as like my be perfect one i could have applied that and went to work and i would have just looked like i had a nice tan whereas one nice hands i would have rolled up to work looking like shit so it's just different things like that different tones different um skin concerns and stuff like that just really do your research and don't waste money on tan that isn't going to go for your skin so tip number six is when you're applying the tan so like i'll do my life like first apply the tan in circular motions and then i'll go over at my right leg don't worry about the lines we'll get back to that go on to my right leg do the exact same just make sure the full area is evenly covered and then i'll go back once that's settled down a little bit and then i'll pat it in i find that when you pat it in when it's still really really wet you get that almost like you went over it with a sponge so it's those little patchy dots and it's not patchy they're just lighter than the other areas and then you're just potentially going to look either blotchy um or streaky or anything like that so just wait till it settles a little bit and then tap it out don't waste your time trying to get it all perfect before it dries just give it a little second just to kind of settle itself down dry itself down a little bit and then pat it out and you're fine and also patting the tan into your skin can also make it a little bit darker so tip number seven is to shower until the water is clear don't come out until the water is clear that's how a lot of fake tans end up with streaks i know that from personal um experience when i was younger if i had to tell my younger self anything about fake tan this would be one thing because i used to always wonder why my tan was streaky um i always used to try different mitts to try different tans um spent so much money and it turned out i just didn't stand in the shower long enough so definitely stand in the shower long enough try and um, shower it off with like lukewarm water not cold not hot just like lukewarm water that way you don't have the urge to um like scratch or use soaps or scrubs or anything just look on water and you'll be fine and make sure that it's clear sometimes if i'm not completely sure i have a shower in a bath um so what i'll do is i'll kind of stand out the way so that the water's coming clear and it's not touching me then i'll kind of kick all the water away and then i'll jump back in and then i'll see um just a little tip obviously if it's another like if it's an actual standing shower then it might be a little bit more difficult with that um but that's just like my little tip for if you've got like a bath and a shower in one so tip number eight is it's okay to change your tan i for the last year have used my be perfect jacqueline jossa collaboration fake tan and I have recently discovered, I've never ever ever had this issue with the tan, but I've recently discovered streaks on my legs. Now this isn't from not applying it correctly, this isn't from dry skin, this isn't from not standing in the shower long enough, this isn't from anything like that. It's just me as a person has grown out of that fake tan. As I said, I never had the problem. I began to think it was because my legs were dry until I used another tan and the problem never happened then I used a different tan the problem never happened so I presume it's just with that fake tan which is so annoying because it's such a stunning tan and um, but it just means that I've got streaks in my legs the only way to fix it is to use like a gradual moisturizer after um which does fix it but when you're spending so much time and money on fake tan you shouldn't really have to go the extra mile and um, you should be able to just come out of the shower and be able to like go and wear shorts and t-shirt and everywhere's seamless everywhere's fine nowhere streaky or anything um so yeah it's okay to grow out your tan it's okay to change your fake tan that's all i'm saying i still love that tan and i will try that tan again i've got plenty of stock of it because i absolutely love it it's just so annoying that it's done that but maybe if i come away from it a little while then i go back on it'll be fine um but yeah, it's okay to change your fake tan. So tip number nine is not to moisturise until 24 hours after you have rinsed your fake tan. Now, the reason for this is because some fake tans, not all, but some fake tans do still develop after you rinse. So if you then moisturise, you're stopping that from happening and achieving the best quality darkest fake tan that you can possibly get out of that bottle um and then that's maybe why you might wonder why it's not as dark or it doesn't last as so long. just leave it 24 hours after you rinse and then moisturize because after 24 hours your tan will have fully developed both before and after the shower 
and then you'll be fine to go with your moisturiser. And then the next tip is just to moisturise daily. Try and do it maybe one to two times a day um, for your tan to last. Also for it to fade evenly. When you're washing in the shower, use a like a loofah, is that what they're called? Um, try and use that for a gentle exfoliant because that will help your tan come off evenly you won't have patches it won't just take your tan off it won't just strip you back and um, but it'll give a light exfoliation so your pores and your skin are still staying clear as well um and your tan is also it's just kicking off a tiny little bit every time you shower so that way when you're coming to fake tan again you don't have a lot to come off you can just give yourself a good exfoliate and then away you go again so that is the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye